Hey guys, welcome back. So today, just a couple of, you know, quick, silly little projects. This is a hippo that is lying down. This, as you hopefully remember because you've already seen the videos, um, is my winged heart mold. Uh, so over here, I have three ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one that I have added a glitter blend to that I made. It's just a combination of color changing blacks, greens, blues, reds, oranges, uh, very fine glitter. And uh, it looks very sparkly. Mm. So, you know, subtle awesomeness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the heart first. And now, of course, the, this mold is very detailed. So I'm going to go over it with, there we go, a drip, um, with a soft silicone tool and just get down in it to try to dislodge any bubbles. Let's see about Mr. Hippo here. I think he takes about an ounce and a half, if memory serves. And I want to make sure that I get in his skinny little legs here. So that's slightly domed. That is not slightly domed. That is pretty much flush with the top. And we all know resin, or if you don't know, you do now, uh, that resin shrinks as it's curing. Um, not a lot, hopefully, but it does a little bit, just, you know, less than a percent. But sometimes it does have a tendency to, uh, to shrink when it transforms back to solid form. Now, I am fully expecting some of this glitter to sink, and I'm fine with that. Um, actually, that's kind of the effect that I'm looking for, is I want more glitter on the top than on the bottom. So, that is why I didn't add any glue or anything like that. So, we have an ounce of resin left. Oops. Need a paper towel. So since we have an ounce of resin left, let's make something else. We'll make a sparkly heart. I like sparkly hearts. So sparkly heart it is. I'm go ahead and pour that in. And I don't think it's going to fill up the whole sparkly heart because this is an ounce and a half from what I remember. So that's most of the way up, but not quite all of the way up. So now it's time to let this cure, clean off my little sticks and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for next steps. See you soon. Okie doke. So just real quick, what I've got here is my black about alcohol ink. And I'm just going to go in and drop a couple of drops in each one. Cute. Let those settle for a bit, and then we're going to play. We're going to make patterns. <clears throat> patterns are exciting, right? Yes. Yes, they are. I just need a tiny pokey stick. Where is my tiny pokey stick? There it is. Tiny silicone pokey stick. I'm just going to go in and swirl it. Some of it will drop, some of it won't. Sort of the point. Actually, that just looks kind of cool just like that. I think I'm going to leave that. And then swirl the heart. Yeah, I 
dig that. I just want to see how that turns out. All right, so that's that for that step. See you later. It is time to demold. So let's get them out. I'm going to start with the little guy first. Since he was our bonus make. And all of this. Ooh, that turned out cool. Look. Very, very cool. You can kind of see through it. It looks sort of like a smoky, smoky quartz almost. That's very cool. I like that. So I'm going to go over him with some clear uh, UV resin and shine him up a little bit because that mold is a little bit. Uh, a little bit uh, murky, <laughs> if you will. I've got our little hippo bud here. His little legs. And he is a matte mold, the hippo. Oh, he's neat. Oh, he's neat. I like him. Again, with the swirly smokies. Yes. I like him a lot. I think I know who this is going to go to. <laughs> I think I'm going to do something with him, though. I'm going to give him a home. Literally. Because he's really cool. Yay. Hippo. Alright, so now let's do a heart. And again, matte mold. Subtle sparkle. You can see the black through the bottom. Very neat. Very neat. I need to go around and uh, do a little bit of um, buffing because we've got some spots, you know, that uh, that need it. They're a little, a little sharp. We all know resin can be sharp, so be careful. But I like those a lot. Yes. So jumping off points for different projects, this little dude is going to find a home, this little guy is going to get a cover, and this little guy is just cool. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.